As a lot of you may know, I used to be a moderator on the Hive, Bedrock, and Java edition. But today, I decided to fully resign. Here's why. Before I get into this video, I would like to clarify that I'm not on bad terms with the staff team whatsoever, and this is just my own personal reasons for leaving my moderator position. This video is going to be split up into two parts. In the first part, I'll be discussing why I chose to leave the staff team, and in the second part, I'll be going over what to expect from a staff role at Hive. If you are considering applying for helper at the Hive, I strongly suggest that you watch this video. I'll be going over exactly what to expect from the position, so you'll be able to determine whether to go through with applying. I originally became a moderator on April 23rd, 2017, and back then, the Java staff team was a lot different. Helpers didn't exist, so all new staff members were given the moderator role, and there was also a position above moderator called senior moderator. I spent around 9 months as a moderator for the Hive before I was promoted to senior moderator in January 2018. Where mods usually deal with in-game reports and are active on the server, senior moderators were responsible for handling appeals on the forums and dealing with more sensitive situations. The responsibilities of senior moderators were more in the background compared to regular moderators, so I got used to working off of the server as opposed to being active in-game. I returned to the staff team in April of 2020, and again, I was dealing with appeals on the forums instead of directly handling reports in-game. I really enjoyed working on appeals, as that was what I had focused on for the majority of my time as staff. Also, I wasn't as interested in playing the minigames on the server. I was just on the staff team to help in the background and talk to my friends. But with Java shutting down in April of 2021, I would have to move to the Bedrock server if I wanted to continue moderating for the Hive. I became a Bedrock moderator in December of 2020, and it was different. A lot of the responsibilities that I had on the Java server, I didn't have on the Bedrock one. And those responsibilities just so happened to be the things that kept me motivated to stay on the staff team. But I still wanted to give Bedrock Moderator a go, even though I knew those opportunities wouldn't exist on the server. It was a huge adjustment. I hadn't solely dealt with in-game reports since 2017, so it was very hard to get used to doing that again. And to be honest, I didn't find the same enjoyment from dealing with reports like I used to when I was 14. Another part of the Bedrock team that is completely different from Java is the emphasis on community engagement for all Bedrock staff members. As a Java staff member, specifically when I was a senior moderator or dealing with appeals, there were times that I didn't log onto the server for two weeks. You don't see that on the Bedrock staff team, as most of the Bedrock mod responsibilities are in-game and on the server. This push to be extremely active in game is just something that I wasn't used to from when I was moderating on Java, as I had liked working in the background. I also feel like I didn't really fit in with the rest of the Bedrock staff team, and that's not to say that they aren't wonderful people. They're some of the most welcoming and kind people I've met, but I just have a different mindset than them. A lot of the people on the staff team love logging onto the server to grind the games or talk to their friends for hours on end. I wasn't too interested in doing that anymore, as I just wanted to moderate in the background. I also feel like joining in on a staff team of 60 to 70 people was very overwhelming, especially since I had been talking to the same 10 to 15 people on Java for the past few years. For those reasons, it was really hard to make friends and feel connected to the team. So really, the opportunities that I have now as a Bedrock moderator compared to when I was at Java are a lot more limited, so I don't have as much motivation to stay on the team. I understand why Hive is going in this direction with their volunteer staff team, but it's just really demotivating to have responsibilities that I enjoyed taken away after being around the staff team for four years. I feel like moving towards content creation has unlimited opportunities for me to pursue, so I'm really excited to fully focus on that. So now to get into the truth about each of the staff roles, I would like to clarify exactly what you should expect from the helper and mob positions. Now, most of you will be most interested in the helper role since that's the role that the public can directly apply for. So I'm gonna go over some common misconceptions that a lot of applicants have. So the first thing to consider is that a helper does not moderate the server. The helper role is really, really community based. You are basically going to spend most of your time interacting with people on the Discord server or on the Hive server, answering questions, helping them out, and just being a friendly, welcoming face for the Hive. For this reason, I would only recommend applying for the helper role if you really enjoy playing the server and playing the games and if you're able to uphold a positive attitude on the server. 
Furthermore, there's also a lot of people who apply for helper in order to get to the mod position since most mods are chosen from the helper role. To be extremely blunt, if you are applying for helper to one day get the moderator role, it is not worth your time. You are going to spend months being extremely frustrated and unhappy in your role and it could take months or even years to even be considered for the moderator role and it's never guaranteed. This doesn't mean that new helper applicants shouldn't have a goal of one day becoming moderator, but it shouldn't be your only reason for applying. The only people who I would suggest should apply for helper are people that will be satisfied being a helper from the day they get on the team to the day they leave. That's not saying that there's no chance that a helper will get mod, but if your only goal for being a helper is to be moderator, you are going to be miserable for as long as you're on the helper team. As for the moderator role, the biggest misconception that people have about mod is that you're very close to like admins. And I understand that because the colors are basically the same. I think that really, really misleads people. You know, the hive rank, the devs, the owners, the managers, they're the same color as the mods. But to be honest, moderators roles and responsibilities are closer to those of helpers and community members than the actual hive team themselves. We are not paid employees and we do not have a lot of the information that people always think that we do. And now I would like to do a little PSA for the mods and helpers who are currently on the staff team as I feel like I've learned a lot over the past four years of being on and off of the team. Remember guys, this is a volunteer position. If you are unhappy, if you don't have time, if you're stressed about it, or if you've just gotten bored with it, I would really consider leaving. It sounds blunt and it can be scary if it's been a huge part of your life for the past few years, but from my personal experiences, when I took breaks from the team or left the team, it was during times when I just wasn't liking the staff team anymore and I needed to move away from it. And that's okay. My biggest fear was that I wouldn't be able to interact with the community or keep my friends, but that's not true. You can be just as active outside the staff team and in the community as if you were still a helper or mod. And honestly, my break in 2019 from the staff team was the time in my life where I had opportunities to pursue other things in life and learn and grow as a person. I feel like one thing that really held me back from leaving personally is that it was an opportunity that so many people on the server wanted, so I felt really lucky to have it. So it was scary to give it up. But honestly, once you get over that, you ha will have so much more free time in life to do other things or even just log onto the server and still hang out with people. Nothing really changes, not as much as I thought would when I left the staff team. So it's nothing to be scared of if that's something that you're considering. Obviously, if you are happy in your role as a moderator or a helper, all the power to you. But I know that there are a lot of people sometimes that don't take breaks when maybe they should, as there's so much more to life that you can explore while still being in the community as well. As for me, I'm really excited to take all this new spare time to focus on YouTube and streaming and seeing what I can do over the summer. I'm going to have so much more free time, so I'm really, really excited to put out more content for you guys. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as I want to address any concerns that you guys might have about this video. Also, I would really, really appreciate if you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I will try to be posting every week and a half to two weeks, as well as keeping my regular Twitch schedule. You can also find me over at twitch.tv xskyla, and my Twitch will also be linked in the description. See y'all next time.